Every engineer will tell you, oh, concrete cracks. But what if? What if you could make it so that it was ductile and it behaved differently? And then you have a new material on your hands. It's uh, changing the way that the uh, building are constructed in the future. Using fiber will be a common way of producing uh, concrete elements. A precast uh, concrete panel is a panel that uh, has an inner layer with concrete, and then a layer with insulation, and an outer layer with concrete. When using fibers, uh, for sure, we could reduce the, the labor uh, hours uh, because we don't have to use a lot of time uh, fixing the steel uh, reinforcements. When we are using uh, steel, there is an issue with corrosion, uh, especially at the coastal area. The other thing is that using a lot of steel in a traditional way, uh, it has also a cost. When we are using fibers, uh, we are using less uh, concrete and the panels uh, have less weight. And for sure, we then have less transportation costs. We could reduce the thickness with up to 40%, maybe even 50%. This will lower the weight of the panel and it will also lower the carbon dioxide emission. When the panels are lighter, they are easier to handle at uh, the site. My job is uh, to take care of the concrete. I check the concrete is coming, I plan how we pour it. We have a lot to do before we are pouring the concrete. But when it comes to panels, for me then uh, it's less to do on, on site. We have standards that we have to follow, so we'll do the math and the engineering. And and we are sure that uh, the, the strength of the concrete is as good as the strength would be with uh, steel reinforcements. When we are reducing the thickness of the panels uh, up to 30 to 40%, we will get more inner space area. The effects of more slender structures are less material, which is good for the costs and for the environment, or a smaller footprint of the building. In a building like 10, 10 floors, you have maybe 200, 300, 400 square meters more. Concrete panels may be seen as grey and dull, but actually we produce concrete panels with uh, polished outer uh, walls that are really great. And I think that architects and uh, customers, uh, if they could see these panels, they for sure will be interested. Uh, they can get three-dimensional effects, curves, special designs in terms of the surface finish, the surface texture. So it gives them design freedom. As a structural engineer working in design, this is another tool in my toolbox, enabling me to get a better surface to achieve low shrinkage surfaces and for corrosivity. Using fiber, uh, the corrosion is not an issue because actually there is no chemical reaction. Solution with fiber and uh, concrete together we used in uh, very different uh, projects like uh, housing and you have uh, hotels, you have industrial floors, you have some part of the bridge. You can use it everywhere really. We're seeing, for example, with sandwich panels that there is a need to have buildings that are passive, energy efficient, and the product enables the concrete to be thinner and the insulation barrier to be thicker, and that's good for the environment. So we have been in the business of reducing CO2 since before anyone knew about CO2. It goes without saying for us because what we do in this business is saving materials. We have a situation where the politician says that the building constructor must reduce the carbon dioxide emissions with approximately 40% in 2030. And basically, actually, we are in a position to do that right now. <music> <music>